Red gravel, of course, in Flanelli colours as often this season, but an exciting centre in Nigel Davis. Flanelli suffered a blow on the eve of this game with a withdrawal because of injury of skipper Phil May. Mark Lynch, better known as number eight, is his replacement. Phil Davis plays at number eight against the club he left just a few weeks ago. On the police side, Neil Harris and Kieran Jones played for Neath, of course, in last season's cup final. But there's no room for last season's prolific try scorer Mark Brinkworth. Andrew Hughes gets his spot on the right wing. Some new faces up front with Wales B flanker Martin Morris at number eight. And this afternoon's referee, Mr Owen Jones from Swansea. So it's Bredham Bowen then who gets the game underway for South Wales Police. Just in case of any mix-ups, the boys in blue in fact play in red today. The police, while Thanetti field their chain strip, and uh, that's a sort of uh, dark navy. A little bit of altercation already. Referee calls for a scrum. So it's a... South Wales Police will have the ball. Right house defeat. Finetti trying to disrupt that ball, but well controlled by Martin Morris, number eight there in goes Hill. Martin Morris going in rather for the South Wales Police and uh, Finetti able to hold on to it. So Finetti get the penalty. It's Gary Pierce. will use to drive the police back. Not a great length from that kick by Gary Pierce, but the linchpin certainly of the Flanelli side this season, though the 200 points already to his credit. <laughs> David Pickering trying to drive on, but it's Bledin Bowen tries to hack through, but now it's Pierce. Opens it up well. That's Nigel Davis, but the whistle has gone. <laughs> Referee spotting an infringement earlier on in that move. Whitehurst, the scrum half to feed for them. <laughs> ben Bowen doing very well indeed there. It's a long kick by Donovan, but it goes straight to Martin Gravel, probably the best counter attacking fullback in Welsh rugby. Yeah, he's looking to support, but that ball going forward there from Lawrence Delaney, but it's back on the police side. Once again, plenty of time for Martin Gravel, but goes back the five metres or so, back into his own 22, in order to kick safely into touch. Once again, the South Wales Police then, with his throw in, with their hooker, David Roberts. And perhaps for Steve Sutton this time, he's their key man in the middle of the lineup. No, goes over the top once again. Pickering drawing through for Fanetti as De Lowen Davis. Picked by Neil Harris, straight into touch. Alvin Davis taps it down, David Pickering does the clearing up job. It's a bad pass though by Gravis. Peter Morgan tries to hack through. Clyde Barber is in there, but now here the chance for Gravel and a chance now for Pnetti to Lewis. Now then, this man's got pace and surely must get all the way to the line. Indeed he does. Well, Gerald, that's the sort of pace we expect to see from a Welsh international winger, isn't it? Oh, yes, indeed. I mean, he had a long way to go. In fact, it's the worst kind of run for a winger, where he's got all the way to go, everybody doing their best to cover, and all he's got in his sights is the line, of course. It's a very difficult moment. It seems a long moment for a winger when he's got the line at his mercy and all he's got to do is sprint. But Phil Lewis, their beautiful athletics, uh, athletic style of running there, good in command, and he gets their sails over in the corner, despite... Uh, some wonderful covering uh, defence by by South Wales Police. They were all there, there in fact. So the try by Phil Lewis, then unconverted by Gary Pierce, but Flanetti in the lead by four points to nil. Griffiths once again a good heel. Peter Morgan this time playing in the outside up position. Just a little kick through. That goes Hughes. Keeps it in well. And a nice bit of athleticism by young Andrew Hughes on the right wing for the police. Can actually do the option of losing Peter Morgan in the outside half spot as they went blind. And again, it's Tommy who gets the ball in at this line out fortunately towards the middle, towards Cornelius this time, but it's tapped back by, by Sutton for the place. And 
And that he finalized for going over the top. And then uh, a good kick by Levin Bowen. Takes the police back into the Shinetti half. Back then on the police side by Steve Roper. Levin Bowen puts up the big one. Martin Gravel's the man underneath it. Inside his own 22 calls for the mark. <laughs> Nicely held ball by Martin Gravel. Takes it quickly, but rather lobbed that pass, but safely to Gary Pierce. And Pierce made more than makes up for that after that lovely kick, left footed kick up the touchline. Let's see this time whether, in fact, uh, the, the South Wales police can get some ball. The, the throwing in at the moment very inaccurate, not hitting the mark, Sutton not being able to get his hands to it. So then, let's see what David Rhodes can do this time. Can he hit Sutton this time? Over the top towards the back once again, and again it breaks to Thanetti. But referee deciding that there was something wrong as Cornelius went through, coming through on the wrong side perhaps, and so a penalty to the police. And Bledin Bowen this time will opt to go for goal. There we are. He's just inside the Thanetti 10 meter line. On the correct side of the field, of course, for a left footed kick like uh, Bledin Bowen. Gives it plenty of air. And a beauty. So a fine kick then by Bredin Bowen reduces Lanathi's lead to just that single point. So this time a Lanathi ball. Kerry Townley has been going for the back. Once again he does so towards Phil Davis, taps it back down to Jonathan Griffiths. Now then Lanathi look for support. And they get it. That's Pickering to Gary Pierce. Goes to the drop goal. How unlucky can he get? But it's still a chance for Tanetti. Phil Lewis there is tackled. Phil Lewis in there. Tanetti trying to rip this ball back. But the ball not going to come out. And an incident on this side of the field. Involving Peter Morgan of Tanetti sitting you see on the ground there. And on the police side, it's Mark Pugh. And in fact, now, it's skipper Steve Sutton also being brought into this. Peter Morgan getting the warning, in fact, by the look of it, the Tanetti skipper. And the penalty goes the police way. Use of the fist there, says referee Owen Jones. Of course, Abel having the advantage at this stage of the competition in having qualified referees as touch judges, Vernon Brown and Roger Pardo, the two touch judges here today. So the referee able to consult the touch judge on that occasion to find out exactly what did happen. So a tough game perhaps then now for Mr. Jones to control. It's threatened to boil up on a couple of occasions already. Let's see if we can get back to back to the rugby. Finetti this time got the penalty. Steve Sutton on this this occasion the, the policeman is actually the police skipper. It's the spot of Mr. Jones is Gary Pierce. Finds touch just outside the police. 22. Plenty of passion, of course, in all, all these occasions down here at Struddy. <laughs> so it's Roberts there. Jump back and tightly on the police side, and a chance for a finish. Good drive by the forward. It really is warming up up there, isn't it? Peter Morgan. Through the tackle. And that's 
penalty to Finetti as Martin Morris went through. But there must be question marks as well about how the, uh, the this new law is interpreted, Gerald. You could argue there that Peter Morgan played the ball after the tackle. But here he is now, he gets the ball, he slips the, the, the first tackle, in fact. He still does, does very well to keep his feet, keep his head. Quick dummy there, goes through the middle. Now the ball there should have been penalised, I think, according to the law. He has been tackled and he plays the ball uh, on the floor. But in fact, it's uh, Morris there who's penalised. Finally struck kick by Gary Pierce. So he extends Lenetti's lead now then to 7-3. Plenty of options once more for Lenetti. And good drive by them at the scrum. That's to Pierce. Pierce, that long diagonal kick. And a real beauty it was too. Crowd very appreciative of that fine kick by their outside half. Taking Shanetti to about 10 meters outside the police 22. David Roberts, the hooker for the police. Back on the police side, but Whitehouse under pressure once more. forward so uh, it's an ball finally the front rows get down but in fact the police guilty were they of bringing it down indeed they were so it'll be a penalty to Thanetti referee Owen Jones pointing out that been lines for collapse in the scrum, so a further chance then for Gary Pierce. <laughs> Gary Pierce, though, slicing his kick on that occasion wide of the posts. Quickly taking the deep one, too. That's Jonathan Griffiths, the Kinetti scrum half going back. And decides to open it up. Still going. Right. Referee deciding that he did play the ball on the ground that time. So a penalty to the, to the police and a chance here surely for Blithin Bowen. In fact, on this occasion, it's Neil Harris who's going to take the kick. Neil Harris, of course, recruit from Neath this season, recruited by the police. the right footer taking the kicks from the left hand side of the field that's nicely struck as well and it's right between the posts so this time it's Neil Harris who kicks a penalty for the police seven points to six now for Nettie Lee it's getting for Sutton but an untidy one and it's pickering for Finetti getting support from Phil Davis Jonathan Griffiths To Tony. Sutton tries to bring him down for the police. Pickering is in there too, but it's back on the police side. Bledin Bowen takes on Gary Pierce, flicks out the ball. But uh, Kim Jones hold up. Once again, the police look for second phase possession, and this time Slanefi had penalized, so another good opportunity for the police. in front and it's there so could we be in for a shock here South Wales police take the lead for the first time at 9-7 so it's Townley then fortunately picketing seven at the back for him and Phil Davis back it comes to on the center side Griffiths to Pierce lovely run by Pierce now looking for support and getting it from Nigel Davis and a chance for Tony No. In fact, the ball had gone forward. 
the ball comes back here beautifully on the Trinetti side. It's Griffiths here, took Pierce. Pierce has a look, and then dummies. Goes through the middle, but as you can see, the ball is forward. The halfway line shows quite clearly that the ball had gone forward then. Police having taken their chances in this first half, having kicked their three penalties. The one real moment of magic was that run by Phil Lewis, fortunately he's trying. And that's it at the end of the first half. So, could we be in then for a huge shock here? It's South Wales Police who lead at half-time by virtue of three penalties, two from Neil Harris and one from Bradley Bowen. To a try by Phil Lewis. Welcome back then to Strolling Park. We'll rejoin the action a little way into the second half with the police side still in the lead by nine points to seven. David Pickering going through for Fanaki. And a chance here then for Fanaki till they get there. Try not given. Scare then for the police. Ball bobbing about. Around the line, David Pickering, the man who gets up. So a great chance then for Tanetti. Right on the police line. Bill Davis, number eight, trying to squeeze that, but getting nowhere at the moment. Pick up the by Griffiths. Flicking the ball back, getting away with it, and a great chance here for Nigel Davis. Cuts through. Peter Hopkins, but the whistle's gone. So some fine play there by the police pack then, holding up Sanetti as they try to drive. Peter Hopkins finally getting over for Sanetti, but the whistle had already gone. Towards Sutton and Bowen. Now then, the chance then for once for the police to attack. Surely a tackle off the ball, but anyway, on we go. Hughes through for the police. This time, really, they've actually spread the ball across their three quarters, but it's back on the Trinetti side. Martin Gravel, lovely play. Still Martin Gravel, slip into Peter Hopkins. Try move this by Trinetti, continued by Griffiths. Anthony <laughs> McCunnan is in there. But the high tackle says the referee, so a penalty to Trinetti. But some enterprise there, shown by Trinetti, counter-attacking from deep inside their own 22. In the end, as they crossed halfway, the ball finally died. Townley towards Phil Davis at the back. But it's broken on the police side. It's the little chip through by Richie Donovan. An intelligent one as Pierce goes back. But a hack through then by Andrew Hughes. Martin Gravel tries to cover him. Hughes trying to keep control. And he gets the oh, indeed, just stumbling at the last. How oh, desperately unlucky Andrew Hughes was there indeed. Oh, yes, a desperate attempt here, but uh, from a bit of a mess up, really. Uh, it's a, a long kick ahead here by Richard Donovan. It bounces neatly for Pierce, but the ball goes loose. A hack again ahead there by Andrew Hughes. And it's a long chase now for him and Martin Gravel. And here they both tumble, and it's a desperate <laughs> attempt to get there on his knees, on all fours, but fails in the end. Now the Walker can let him make for this. They've got Peter Morgan out on the blind side. It's kicked through by Jonathan Griffiths. Over comes Neil Harris. And the fullback does well. The Nettie calling move there with the skipper Peter Morgan on the blind side. Creating a diversion, allowing Jonathan Griffiths the scrum half to go through, but Neil Harris well away for the police. But Townley again then, fortunately. Going towards Phil Davis again at the back, taken by Cornelius, sets it up. Now then, what can Pierce make of this? Peter Morgan, trying to dummy his way through. Once more, it's back on the Trinetti side. Pierce, Pierce the kick through. Once again, back goes Neil Harris. And once again, good bit of play by the police fullback. And the line out to Flanetti. Not really getting a lot of momentum in their attacks so far. But what can they make from this one? Towards Cornelius in the middle. And Flanetti have it. Pierce to Davis.
Well, squirting back on the police side. Bed and Bowen held up though. But manages to get the ball out. That's out to Clive Barber. And Barber clearing his lines well. Clive Barber as befits, of course, a man who has and can play very well at outside half. Actually beginning to get uh, better possession at this stage. The forwards are doing exceptionally well, but it seems to me that the three-quarter line are unable to gather any momentum to make the break. They're doing it very casually, it seems to me. Let's see what they can make of this. They get clean possession once again from Cornelius. Now then, Peter Morgan. That's to Gorell in the line. Out to Peter Hopkins. They try and spread it. Hopkins getting past Hughes. But once again, a slightly pile in. Referee decides the ball's not going to come out, so another scrum to Finetti. For once, they're Finetti trying to spread the ball wide where they have looked dangerous through Peter Hopkins and Phil Lewis. And they have possession once more. Pierce. That's to Davis. Davis going for the gut, but well tackled. But Peter Morgan is well there in support. He's held up by Kieran Jones. And again, that ball not going to come out. But once more, Sinetti get the ball to keep pressure, keep up the pressure on the police side. But it must be said that police too have defended well. Centres Donovan Jones up very quickly on their opposite numbers. Donovan, of course, in the centre for them, a Welsh international, having played as a replacement in France. Griffiths. Just getting the look of the bounce. Good kick by him. Setting up another attacking platform then for Thanatio. Typical cup tie this. Really tough going for both sides. Way through the second half, then. <laughs> Phil Davis getting into Arlene Davis. Chance here, surely now, for Finetti, if they can get that back and they get the penalty. So, will it be Martin Gravel this time or will it be Gary Pierce? Peter Morgan takes the ball and asks Pierce to go for goal. So a crucial kick this then for Finetti. Pierce then with a kick. And it's a beauty. So, Gary Pierce's second penalty then puts Trinetti back into the lead at 10 points to nine. Sutton and Cornelius. As Townley puts in towards them. It's taken again by Cornelius beautifully too. Gary Pierce, Phil Lewis. Trinetti once again getting second phase possession. Griffiths, the chance here, surely, yes, for Peter Morgan. So it's the Fnetti skipper then who gives uh, Fnetti, extends Fnetti's lead. The first time Fnetti gets some momentum here. Double scissors there. Phil Lewis coming up really at speed, coming down the middle. Fnetti forwards there in numbers, getting the second pos possession for Griffiths to put Peter Morgan over. A good try, but for the first time, Fnetti really getting some momentum into their three quarter play. Unable to, to bring the ball back in. But Finetti are now five points clear at 14-9. And the ball breaks on the police side. Now then, Darrell Price looking for support just a few metres out. Great chance for the police if they can win this ball. They have it. Blythyn Bowen spins it, the long one. Donovan. Kieran Jones, Neil Harris, Blood and Bowen. Bowen going all the way, and pass out to the barber. The try is given. 
So it's Clive Farmer then who brings the police right back into it. Some good attacking on the blind side here, first of all, by the police. The Darrell Price, they're driving hard towards the line, not quite getting there. It takes some time for this ball finally to emerge. They finally get it back. Here it comes. Slowly, Bledin Bowen in this movement a couple of times. Is Donovan out here to Neil Harris, but they still play around with it. Not even the camera are able to follow it. But it's Bledin Bowen for the second time in that movement, getting the ball to Barber to just scramble over. It looks as if he took the flag with him, but a try has been awarded. So it's Neil Harris then with this most crucial of kicks. 14 13 to Thanetli as Harris takes that conversion attempt. It's looking good. Oh, desperately unlucky. Neil Harris so unlucky. But the police are back to within one point of Thanetli. Duncan Thanetli then come back from, from that. Tuck down though on the police side. Bowen. Out then to Donovan. Donovan trying to make a break for the ball. Finally, the move finally breaking down as Marty Morris went down on it. So, uh, scrum to Flanetti. Once again, Flanetti having Peter Morgan on the blind side. Let the police drive them back. Ball going loose. But it looks to be coming out on the Flanetti side to Pierce. Davis. Gravel. That's the kick for Phil Lewis as Barber goes back, keeps his eye well on the ball. His tackle though, the pick up by Davis. And the referee's decision is a try. The referee taking the advice of his touch judge before giving that try to Nigel Davis. Well, as South Wales police could score by taking the corner flag, so does Leslie. Here it is. A quick, lovely little chip ahead here from Gravel puts Barber under pressure, but it's Hughes there, or Davis rather, up in uh, very quickly to go over in the corner, but he does ground it before the flag falls over. This time, Finetti entrusting the conversion attempt to their number eight forward, Phil Davis. Right out on the touchline, he'll try and drag it in. Strikes it well. That's a superb kick. By Phil Davis, so Tenetti's lead then is 20-13. Tenetti certainly know they've been in a scrap this afternoon. Malik Pierce. And South Wales police going over the top, so surely that's the end of their hopes. And a penalty for Tenetti, which Peter Morgan, skipper, obviously the signs will be a shot at goal for Gary Pierce. Pierce then with a chance to seal Fanetti's victory, which he does. Another penalty then by Gary Pierce. Fanetti now in the lead by 23 points to 13. A brave fight then this has been by the South Wales Police. But it's Fanetti who have it. Out again to Pierce. Pierce kicking deep once again. Lovely kick too by Gary Pierce. So he keeps Snetty deep in the South Wales Police 22, which is where they want to be, of course, in the in the police half for the remaining minutes of this game. But David Roberts it is who will feed. It's time for penalised. So the police obviously will have to open this one up, which they do. In fact, Lanetti had not retrieved it ten yards. So Whitehouse again takes it quickly to Bledin Bowen. If you're going for the interception, a deliberate knock on, says referee that uh, Lawrence Delaney had deliberately knocked the ball on. The 
this is a good run by Richie Donovan. There's his back row in support. Whitehouse. Let in Bowen, but Bowen only have Andrew Hughes on that side. Trying to get round Peter Hopkins, but Peter Hopkins forcing him into touch. Smash. And once again, he comes back on the Smithy side. Peter Morgan. Once again, I'm sure he'll want to drive the police back. But it's Neil Harris. Back goes Martin Gravel. Pickering. And then Bowen is underneath it. Going past Mark Lynch and getting the ball out to Hughes. Hughes, a little kick down the touchline, but Gary Pierce is there. Pierce, a lovely run. Beautiful run by Gary Pierce. Oh my word, could he go all the way here? He's got support. Peter Hopkins surely knocking the ball on. Gary Townley finally finishing it off, but it looked for the moment as if Gary Pierce would seal it all with uh, another try for Sanetti. But in fact, the final whistle has gone at the end of that move, but uh, Gary Pierce almost getting to the line. <laughs>